we're headed back to the UP. We should just probably live there at this point. The Thunderball. Found our own little cove. Decided to run into Munising for breakfast and we ended up at Miner's Pasty Kitchen. There's the ferry going to Mackinac. Mackinac Island, Mackinac City. Well, we went to six campgrounds that, hey, we do first come, first serve. All six of them were pretty much full. We're in the upper peninsula of Michigan, so we're gonna do some inflatable tent camping, kayaking, some lake swimming, uh, ATVing, maybe even some hiking. We're back just south of Munising in the Hiawatha National Forest. Finally got ourselves a good site. It was an adventure finding a campsite today. <laughs> We were everywhere. I don't even know how many hours we spent driving around, looking for a site. Almost settled on one that we weren't thrilled about. Decided to come see if we could grab one here and we got really lucky. This site's be very beautiful. Really happy with the site. Nice lake view back there. And we're kind of dashing just because uh, of all the camping trips we've taken, let's say the last 10 or 15, this is probably the first time it's happened this bad, the second time it's happened to us all together. And we're getting hungry. <laughs> it's time to get this tent up and get some stuff going. Tent just inflated. It does take a little bit of nudging and pulling now. Of all the times we've set it up, one time it kind of went up on its own. But look what we were able to accomplish in seven minutes. Privacy shelter's somewhat up. Obviously we gotta stake things down, but. So that's kind of the game we play. How much can you get done in the seven minutes? We got everything unstrapped. We got the kayaks down. We got refrigerator stuff out. <laughs> so in like seven minutes, you get pretty far. Now we just got a little bit of setting up to do in the inside. Well, we're just at an hour. Setup usually takes us about an hour and a half. Took us about an hour and 45 minutes to get everything mostly set up. We're getting there. We just got to make it look pretty, but it's roughed in. <laughs> yep, we got the wood. We already ran out and got wood. Got the fire getting started. Got a real nice fire going. Camp's all set up. Let's see how Tina's doing. Hey, come on in. I'm not all the way set up, but it's a work in progress. We're getting there. Now well, Tina's got her inflatable couch. She made a few pillows. You see that? She made that one. She's pretty proud of them. They look really nice. I had fun. I have to sew. I'm addicted. I made the ones on the bed too. And there's the setup for the bed. It's getting there. Hey, I meal prepped. I got two ribeye steaks here, cooked them up, grilled them at home. We had them in our cooler. Now I'm just kind of flipping them around here just a little bit over the fire. We're gonna heat them up. They were delicious at home. There was a pack of four, got two left. We're both just sitting down, relaxing. Gonna have a cherry wheat and just try to enjoy the evening. They're delicious. And we put some guacamole on them. And I was starving. <laughs> Costco Excellent. Kirkland guacamole on our ribeye steaks. They're really good. Costco good steaks. <laughs> Costco steaks. We had a great dinner. Bob meal prepped for us. Uh, made some ribeye steaks at home. And we wrapped them up real nice so we could reheat them on the fire. So we ate and grabbed a beer. We're getting ready to go for a little stroll down to the lake. We want to see what it looks like down here so we could throw our kayaks in and We'll have an adventure this weekend. Quick walk down the trail. Right there. Perfect. That's not bad at all. 
possum. It's really nice. Some of the sites have little put-in areas where you could put your kayak or whatever into the water, maybe you have a canoe. It's nice, but they are connected by little paths that go between sites. And the site's way up there, so you're not infringing on anybody's uh, privacy. So there are several places where you could put kayaks in. This happens to be site six. In my opinion, it's probably, from what I've seen, the best site up here. There's one of the water pumps, potable water with a hand pump, straight across from site six. Site six has a great place to put your kayak in the water. Sure does. Walking back up to our site. I got like a spider sitting there inside the tent. This is a really beautiful site. It still has beautiful views. It's huge. It's huge. And right if you look up, nothing to fall on you and great sunlight for our solar power. You got a nice view of the lake through the trees. Six hours from home. This is seven campgrounds later. We had four <laughs> contingency plans. Where'd we end up? I don't know, Bob, where'd we end up? <laughs> oh, that's the deal. Six hours from home, first come, first serve. Good. We found a great spot. Yeah, yeah, we're very happy, but what a crazy day. Just waking up, gonna get the coffee going. Good morning. Made our coffee. Tina's cooking. Pretty excited to check out the solar panel stuff. We had to make a decision between going more electric or more uh, with propane. And we decided just to go more electric because it has more uses for us all around. And there's Tina getting her stuff started cooking. Got the sausage going. This is a little setup in here. Just making us some breakfast. And I have some sausage and eggs and some guac, cottage cheese. Just getting ready to eat breakfast, our first morning here. Everything looks great. We're having a wonderful morning. There's no bugs, which is hard to believe. We're in the Upper Peninsula, and it's gorgeous out. I'm running out this morning to grab firewood, and we're kind of sizing it up. These bags are $5, but then a whole one of these columns right here is 20 So I was kind of trying to size it up and think, is it one, two? It's probably worth about five, maybe six bags, so that's probably more economical. Our second firewood stop of the morning. There's another one right down the road. We got some really small split up wood. As you can see, these are a little bit more round. We started taking the pile that we're purchasing. It's $8 for this. You know, you can see how much is in each one. The bottom rows are 12. A lot of firewood for the money. But look at all the firewood we got. We went to two different places. One had it cut really small, and then we wanted the bigger pieces to burn longer. We're actually, I think, gonna get ready to go kayak in here in a couple of minutes. kayaks and then right here's the path to go down to the water we're getting ready to go kayaking you can see the lake right down there we're just going to follow a little path down throw the kayaks in and take a little spin around the lake check it out just adjusting the foot pegs for bob pushing them out so it's tall enough for him we're getting ready to hit the hit the lake and take a little kayak ride There's the Island Lake Boat Launch. Really nice, you can come right out of the boat launch, kind of right into all these flowered, flowering lily pads. Might as well go check out this VB mapping. Let's see how it works. I got it on this tablet. I got VB mapping and Onyx on the same tablet I can mess around with. Tina wants to do her thing around this uh, campsite. I'm gonna shoot on out and do a quick rip. Just cruising around a little, Doe Lake access. 
Indian River. Here's the access point. Let's walk down and take a look. There's Doe Lake from the access point from the road. A couple steps you walk down. Seems to be pretty well equipped for a small boat of any kind. There's Doe Lake from the road. Put in spots right down there where you see the pole. So doing some excellent riding. I got BB mapping here, but I don't know how to tell it to track me or breadcrumb. It tells me where I am in very detailed, nice, colorful map, but I have no idea how to tell it to breadcrumb. So I gotta mess with it a little bit more. I installed it. I have it all hooked up into this uh, relatively cheap tablet that was maybe 150, 200 bucks. And it works great. It's, I have no cell service here. It's spot on with where I am and all the trails. But I know where I am so I can get back. But it's not breadcrumbing and I don't know which button to push to do it. There's the Buckhorn. It's a Buckhorn restaurant. They got gas over there. You can see some side by sides. A lot of cars. Pretty happy in place. Buckhorn Resort. Look at that. That's pretty good. Friday night. We got it going on in there. Got gas, food. All the good stuff. Oakwood Trails Trailhead. Comes up pretty quick. Kind of a pull through type of one. There it is. The grass is a little overgrown, but great spot to park. You just need a spot to park. You can't beat it. There's the sign for Island Lake. Road. It's so refreshing to be able to take a hot shower when you're camping at a rustic campground. We're having a really amazing day. We kayaked this morning, uh, hung out at the campsite a lot, figured out how to use our solar panels or, you know, just kind of test them out, see how long it would take to charge them, how much power we use. Just kind of hung out at the campsite. Bob went for a ride, kind of pussed around here, did some meal prep so we can make dinner. Bob's just stepping out of the shower. Second night dinner, cooking on the fire. There's dinner cooked over the fire. I made poor boys with hamburger meat, but instead of potatoes, I just did whole cloves of garlic. Way healthier. See how this turns out. It looks amazing. It smells really good. Just gonna go for an after dinner stroll. We had a great dinner, we're having a great time. Great place to put the kayaks in. So it was really fun kayaking here. Here's the boat launch. Here's the bottom of the boat launch. Oh, the wild flowers. There's where you launch whatever boat you are. Gonna relax by the fire for the night, get ready to bed down. We decided to run to town to get breakfast and bring the little jackery with to charge it. Going out to breakfast. Gonna grab something to eat. Decided to run into Munising for breakfast and we ended up at Miner's Pasty Kitchen. A couple picnic tables here. We have no patience and every restaurant was packed with long waits. And Tina loves her pasties. I do. And just a tip, the place we found with the pasties has ice cream. They have Mackinac fudge swirl. Come on. We didn't know that. We, we will probably know. be coming back. We each got the Uper pasty and an extra breakfast one. Doubt we'll eat it now, but we'll put it in the cooler. A couple of carrot cakes and some coleslaw. We just wanted the meal, which came with cookies, but they were out of cookies. So we got, they gave us carrot cake. Woohoo! And this pasty is delicious. We just stopped at Alger Falls. Right on the main road, as you can hear. <laughs> it's a little path right on the main road, but let's walk it and check this out. We're at Alger Falls. It's really pretty up here. Go. 
just left the campground using BB mapping still and I just can't figure out how to get it to track otherwise it's fantastic with what it shows Riding through the state forest roads and we saw uh, Swan Lake boat access and site one dispersed campsites. We came down the road to check it out. The water looks pretty clear. It was a pretty ride down here too. Oh, I see horse tracks. Horse tracks. Road coming into the Thunder Bowl. Did a lot of good cruising through the Hiawatha today. We weren't too far from here so we had to stop in again. The Thunder Bowl. Gonna go hit a couple of these hills. Thunder Bowl! There's a Thunder Bowl. Cool place. Another view of the Thunder Bowl. Over there, if you see the cement thing, that's where you come in. You got some nice turnaround spots, nice hills all through here, back up into the woods. Gives you a little idea what it's like at the top in the wooded section. So you can see it's a little rutted out. It shouldn't be too bad. This is when you love to rant and rave about the stability of a quad. When you get these side to side topsy turvy kind of things. Yep, engine braking does great, but you need brakes down it. It's a little steep, but a small hill compared to these others. But not too bad. Another vantage point. The Thunderbolt. There's the Thunderbolt. There's the dusty bean sitting on top of that hill. You see here. Well, we think the fuel's bad. We're not sure if the fuel filter is plugged. We're going to see if it shoots the code. There we go. We're towing it back in. It's a long way too, but we'll get there. Yep, we're 30 miles out. We're maybe halfway towing. It's going really smooth so far. Let's cross our fingers. Here we go. issue with Bob's quad today we actually pulled it back with mine with a strap just cleaning the car about see if it was some bad gas or something <laughs> see how it goes meanwhile I'm gonna get ready to make some dinner just letting the fire get hot and heat my pan up sit here and look at the lake I have to go for a little paddle soon Bob's quad messed up we had to pull it back with mine so he's up there with some carb cleaner because we think we had bad gas a couple times ago just seeing if you can get that working out but here's the path i love campgrounds that have a good walkability with all the trails so here's our path back up to the campsite and there's us cooking brats over the fire tonight, it's dinner time. Just making some Italian sausage and onions on the griddle. We stopped at Otter Lake. So Otter Lake campgrounds 
it goes Island Lake to Hovey Lake, and then there's Otter Lake, and then they have a store and a laundromat there, and see what we thought. That nice bench, you see that? You can kind of see, park. There's some of the sights. I didn't know. Kayaking again, Saturday night, sun hanging low kayak. What well, times recently? <laughs> Back out again. After dinner kayak on an island lake, 80 so degrees. Very peaceful. Yeah, the weather's been great today. 80 and sunny, really quiet out here. Beautiful. Good night. It's about time for bed. Kind of a view of the tent. Just making us some breakfast. Cooking some sausages on the fire. Uh, heated our pasties up with an iron skillet on the fire. Hey, right, the sausages are still cooking. Hey, babe. Hey. And here's the pasties heated up. Let's see how it looks. Oh, yeah, that looks good. The breakfast pasty. It's got everything you could want for breakfast in it. This campground is real nice with this grate here. It just folds back over. You can take it and flop it down this way or that way. And look how clean it is. We don't know if these are new. Tina's really cooking nice on it. it makes life so easy yeah, having this nice coffee. fire pit. We went to a pasty place. The one that is attached with the chocolate house in Munising. Got two extra breakfast ones yesterday. Put them in the fridge and just heated them up over the fire. Yeah. Can't wait to dig in. Reheated the breakfast pasties this morning on the fire, wrapped them in foil, put them on the cast iron skillet so they wouldn't burn or anything. We'll see how they turned out. Just grilled a little bit of breakfast sausage over the fire. It's hot. Time to add it to our plate. Tina's showing off the tent to the neighbors. Bob ran to the gas station and I was just filling up our solar shower so we could have showers tonight. Uh, usually we can both get a shower out of one of those and it gets to be about 110 degrees leaving out in the sun all day so it's perfect when you come back from riding. I got the screen house down uh, while Bob ran to the store. I think I'm going to go fill up the water jugs. I filled up our solar showers so they could start heating in the sun today. And I've been chasing the sun a little bit with the solar panels which I see I need to adjust again. We're getting ready to go out for a ride uh, but we were collecting some solar power while we're gone, as well as some heat for our solar showers for later. We have two five gallon solar showers. They just sit in the sun all day like that. Get about 110 degrees. A lot to do from here. Hiking, kayaking, ATVing, camping. <laughs> I'm pretty excited, let's see what happens. Hopefully Bob's quad doesn't break down, but if it does, we'll pull it back. trail right here you can see that we're going to check out the hay meadow falls this looks just to be a turnaround and that's the parking lot so we're going to park in there you can see that here we're there use up here in the campgrounds right there so you can if you're camping you can walk the trail and do that and the falls must be there so let's check it out hay meadow falls trail from the parking lot Really pretty. Going over this little bridge.
Hay Meadow Trail, Hay Meadow Falls, I believe. It's really pretty to walk through here. You can see all the ferns, little cafes. Here's Hay Meadow Falls. There's a campground and a little rec parking lot. It's just kind of a, almost a little tiny cul-de-sac parking lot. A few parking spaces in it, and then a little rustic campground on the other side. a nice little rustic hike to Hayward Meadow Falls, I believe it's called. It was pretty rustic, but it was a really nice hike. Bring your bug spray. <laughs> Back to the campsite. Let's go. It happened again, 40 miles of perfect on the gray one. Ran great, and then it started sputtering. So we're gonna check the fuel filter on it. And if that's not it, it might be just going in because we don't know after that. Okay, so I'm a little dusty, as you can see. Just got towed back. We'll talk about that later. This was at 63 when we left. We just kind of put the solar panels, oops, I don't know why I was pulling it out, where we thought it would uh, charge while we were gone. Let's see where we're at. Oh, 88. wow. That's awesome. Did pretty good. That's without chasing the rays. Nope, just sitting in the shade. Last night, just got done with dinner, ham and bacon. Somewhat packed up. Burn the rest of our wood, sit around, sip some Gatorade. We had a great day. Super adventurous and here we are, straight relax. Wrapping up our last night here, there's more to do in this whole Hiawatha National Forest than you can do in just a few days or maybe even a few weeks. The amount of lakes, rivers, hiking trails, off-roading trails, biking, small towns, I'm um, kayaking, canoeing, so much to do. Got a nice little fire going, packed up a little bit. Getting ready to take the garbage out and go to bed. Coming up to the garbage cans. You can see them here. You see that this hand is kind of pull up like that. And it doesn't really open all that much. So it's pretty long. It's kind of resistant to the animals. Last thing we're doing for the night, hitting, hitting the sack. There's the entrance, bulletin board. Good night, everybody. Just getting up, making some coffee. It's a beautiful night. pretty much all packed up and ready to go. Bob's just tying down the last water jug we used to wash our hands after packing up. Great trip. We had a great stay here at Hiawatha National Forest. Beautiful campsites. This is rustic camping, so really was nice. Um, just a beautiful stay. If you got want to ride or kayak or hike or visit small towns and heck, probably a bunch in between, this is a great place. The whole Hiawatha National Forest, beautiful. <laughs>